Well, let's get this camera pointed right. Hi guys. Well, it has turned into an absolutely glorious first day of winter 2020. Do you believe it, guys? We have survived the fall of 2020. And now we're going to have a few days of winter 2020 before 2021 gets here shortly. Uh, oh, yes, I am Sam Mitchell. This is Collapse Chronicles. So, uh, how are we going to kick off the winter of 2020 here on this gorgeous day in the collapse? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't remember which one of you alert listeners sent this <coughs> article in to me from the Global Times. The Global Times, which has seems to have a lot of stuff from the Chinese perspective. The Global Times is some sort of mouthpiece uh, from the Chinese end of things. So I like to see how the Chinese folks are reporting on Donald Trump. Uh, <laughs> so take it away. Global Times. We're going to leave the planet here on the first day of winter. On Monday, December 21st, 2020. And we're going to head to the moon. Head to the moon. Thank you. Uh, we're going to ride with China to the moon, I guess. <clears throat> U.S. to turn moon into a nuclear weapons site. There you go. This is not the Onion, guys. This is the Global Times. Okay. How is the U.S. going to turn the moon into a nuclear weapons site? <laughs> the U.S. ambition to build a nuclear power plant on the moon by 2027, hmm, which may contribute to future lunar military projects, shows it seeks space supremacy regardless of the damage it may cause to people. Chinese experts on military and international relations said, establishing a nuclear power plant on the moon by the end of 2027 was included in a number of specific goals in a memorandum signed by U.S. President Donald Trump on Wednesday, which is known as Space Policy Directive 6, the plant would, according to the report, quote, support a sustained lunar presence and exploration of Mars. So anybody who uh, thought this was some sci-fi thing out of Flash Gordon, here we go, guys. Uh... Military purposes are likely to be behind the establishment. Chinese military expert and commentator Song Zhongping said, by setting up a nuclear power plant on the moon, which includes explo exploiting nuclear materials and building equipment, like nuclear reactors and uranium enrichment facilities, the U.S. can theoretically turn the moon, quote, into a production site for nuclear weapons, close quote, Song told the Global Times on Friday. The moon is rich in helium-3. The moon is rich in helium-3, a material that could be used as fuel to produce energy by nuclear fusion, Song said, in the name of building a nuclear power plant, the U.S. may directly exploit this raw material on the moon and then construct nuclear fuel processing, plant, processing plants there, he said. The plan, once again, 
shows American unilateralism in space, which runs counter to the will of the international community in terms of lunar issues. Li Haidong, a professor of the Institute of International Relations of the China Foreign Affairs University, said, Earlier, the Trump administration proposed what they call an Artemis Accord in May, which suggested, quote, safe zones surrounding future moon bases in a bid to prevent damage of interference from rival countries and companies. The, agree the agreement blatantly flouts international consensus that outer space including the moon, is a, quote, common use by all, Lee said, quote, whether to build a nuclear, ma nuclear power plant and mine resources on the moon is not up to the U.S. alone, he said, saying the U.S. should take its plan to the United Nations first for the UN to approve this plan on the moon. Quote, worse still, the U.S. would commit a crime against humanity if it caused damage to the lunar ecology and geology through nuclear weapons tests. Song said, yes, um, as, you know, China successfully completed its own lunar trip last week, the signing of SPD-6 also shows that the U.S. intention <coughs> of dragging China into a space race trying to divert China's attention to an endless consumption of natural resources for the race from improving its economy and people's livelihood, Lee said, this is similar to what the U.S. did to the Soviet Union in the 1980s under Ronald Reagan's Star Wars program. Its goal, meaning the United States' goal of building a lunar nuclear power plant, nonetheless may hardly be achieved on time by 2027, as the U.S. is stuck in domestic trouble and chaos. There you go. And if you liked that story uh, from the Chinese perspective, you might also like the stories U.S. Space Force development risks new arms race in outer space and the U.S. Space Force cannot be taken lightly. Yep, yep, yep. Uh... There you go. That is the word from the Global Times, meaning the word from China on the uh, opening bell of winter 2021 and, uh, I mean, winter 2020. Guys, it's, uh, y y you know, it's gotten to the point there is no difference between the mainstream media and the onion anymore. You, you, you know, from this point forward, anybody who thinks we're going back to normal after this year, uh, I got some bad news for you. You can kiss normal goodbye. But with that, I'm going to wrap up today's Chronicle of the collapse of the moon 
and uh, take my little dog on a walk and go uh, gather some firewood for the oncoming winter. I suggest you get out there and, and gather all the firewood you can while you still can. Cause it's cold out there. Bye guys.